Miles, this is really cool. This is a nice day for you. Imagine, 48 hours ago, you were running around chasing Justin Fields and really catching him and having a great day. And look at where we are today in the lobby of Playhouse Square for a great, great piece of art and a, and a great piece of Cleveland culture. Yeah, I mean, this is a part of Cleveland history that I never, uh, never traveled to, never been a part of, and you know, now that I'm here, you know, with the, the mural being here, you know, it gave me a reason to, to come in and experience it, and I never would have thought it had been this, uh, this extravagant, this beautiful, and it's more than I could imagine. And it's a very historic place, too. I mean, it really carries a great deal of history with it. Cleveland, right behind Broadway, as a high percentage and a high population of theater goers and theater activity. So we're in the right spot for a beautiful piece of art. What are you feeling about it? Now, I didn't know it was such a, a large performance arts city like it is, the second, what, the second largest in, in the nation, just right behind uh, New York. So I don't think there's a better spot to put up you know, someone significant to me uh, than you know, a spot like this. I think you know, everyone should be able to, to see it, view it, and as they're going in to see a beautiful show, see a, a beautiful piece of art, and uh, you know, take it all in. Boy, that's right. I mean, you add to the neighborhood here in the theater district and uh, with a beautiful piece of art. When people see it, they're going to say, this is an incredible piece of art. When you saw it for the first time, what did you think? Man, I, I thought it was amazing. I thought, I thought my dad would love it. I thought, uh, I thought back to that, to that day, you know, seeing, you know, sitting, sitting with her, sitting, thinking of all those moments that we, you know, we had together that we, you know, we were able to, to spend together. And uh, it's just kind of, we live in those, those moments and you know, happy to be able to, to give some of, the, some of those moments to, to people in Cleveland just by you know, being able to you know, see them you know, day to day. Isn't it amazing that you can capture the emotion of great moments like that in a great piece of art. I don't, I don't know how she does it. You know, I, I'm, I don't want to say I'm an artist myself, but I, I try to, to you know, draw when I can or try to work on you know, little pieces. But she, she did a great job as far as the, the color and the expressions, and I'll just you know, kind of capturing every, everything that was, that was in that picture that uh, kind of brought out the, the great side of you know, knowing a person like that. Your background and your love of art, where does that stem from? Where did it begin for you? Yeah, kind of right there, being, you know, being with my grand. I know that I was at the, the house all the time and they had you know, different, different colors, different textures. And I was, it, was, it was kind of a, a eccentric as far as the, the color scheme and everything that was going on. And uh, I know that she, she had me you know, watching all kinds of, you know, Different shows on the kid, like westerns, western movies. Uh, I remember she she got me into you know, watching some of the the Ali documentaries, Muhammad Ali documentaries, and you know, he was a you know poetic man himself, and so that got me into poetry, and as well as the art I saw around the house, it kind of just kind of inspired me. You know, when you mentioned the name Ali, and I can he was so artistic with what he did in his sport and really in his life, but some of the images captured of him by the great Leonard Nimoy, who captured him through paintings, uh, sometimes ringside at his most famous fights are absolutely amazing. So you're right about Ali and what an effect he had. Well, being captured by you know, a great man like Leonard Nimoy and a humanitarian like him, is, I, I don't think you'll see that again, you know, right. with how much weight he, he carried you know, by himself and, ca and uh, you know, capturing another great man. It was, that's you know, incredible seeing that you know, he has such respect that he would you know, do that for another man. And, that he, he cherished him in that way. But uh, no, I'm just, I want to do the same for other people. I feel like I'm a kind of photographer. I, I want to be able to, to take pictures and give back to, to others and be able to you know, give people their, their flowers, their roses while they're here. Yeah. Um, I remember last year there was a moment, wasn't there, where school kids had done a painting about the Browns and about the Brown season, how much they loved the Browns, and they would have loved to have had the Browns have to be able to see it and be a part of it. And you reached out to them, didn't you? I did. You know, we were able to, uh, well, I was able to, to go by and see the, the artwork of you know, me and a couple other you know, Browns players. And uh, they were, they were more, more than happy for, for me to come. They were, they were ex excited that their teachers they did. Were yeah, the whole, whole school was you know, you know, on their feet you know, trying, to, trying to see, see me and you know, ask me questions. But it was, 
it was awesome. It was an awesome experience to be able to to be there for them and you know, show that you know, the work that they put out was you know enough to to reach all of us and, and inspire us because you know no matter from to old to young, you know, appreciation you know, it, it reaches all of us. Yeah. Do you think that um, some a visit like that and a moment like that surprises kids that here you are this football star and yet you have an appreciation and a love of art and specifically here, their art, which is really, uh, which is really nice. I mean, very touching. I mean, art can be beautiful no matter who, who uh, designs it, who draws it, who uh, puts it on paper. So as far as, you know, them doing it, young or old, you can have an appreciation of art or, or whatever uh, entertainment avenue you decide to go down. You know, they, it could have been a music piece, but if they, if they had made it, uh, great and about us, we, we would have went down and saw it. And I, I would have done the same. So I, I feel like we as you know, the Browns, we, it didn't matter you know, if, if they did it, if the, the first graders did it or the, the high schoolers did it. Right. You know, they, they did such an awesome job that we wanted to be able to show that you know, we appreciate it and, and uh, you know, for them to keep on, keep on working and keep on striving to, to do great things like that. Yeah, well, you know, what you hope for right now, um, and I'm sure it will happen, and you'll find out about it maybe years down the road, but someone's going to travel downtown and see this beautiful mural, and it might pique their interest into dabbling in art. It might. Heck, it might pique my interest for me to go <laughs> dabbling back in art, but you know, for them to see it and, and start wanting to get back into that, for them to see it and maybe you know, look, look back on, on their family and see how they can, they can be better, how they, how they can you know, build that chemistry, how they can make their community better, you know, how they can... You know, to treat their, their fellow man and woman around around Cleveland with a with a just a little bit more respect, you know, being a little bit more compassionate, a little bit more kind. You know, just seeing that through the art, I think you know, she captured that well. And I think that's with all those feelings and all those thoughts you know, into it. You know, I think it, it just slightly make Cleveland a better place. Yeah. Um, hey, you're doing a lot in community worldwide. You're in the program, the Water Boy program, where you want healthy water, clean water just water for people that need water. You're doing this. Um, boy, you, you keep yourself busy, not just with sport, but with uh, being a good human. I don't, I don't, I mean, having this platform doesn't just stop it, you know, being you know, great on Sundays or Mondays. You know, there's another five days throughout the week, I, you know, I'm, I gotta be just, you know, Miles Garrett, the, the man. And uh, my family, my friends know me. That's just that, not the, not the guy who you know, goes out there and make plays, but the guy who you know, cares about his, you know, his fellow person, you know, the person that, that walks out day to day, you know, carrying groceries, you know, taking pictures of, of those who, who, uh, who want it. You know, just being, being a, a kind person because you know, that's, that's who I'll be for the rest of my life because football will end, but you know, I'll, they'll have to live with you know, who I am and how I made them feel for years uh, beyond that. And having those neat play days for people's dogs. <laughs> Huh? And your dogs, right? It's plural dogs, isn't it? It is plural. I remember that beautiful black German Shepherd that you'd have out at training camp when it was a pup, and I, you've added to the family. Yeah, a little, uh, <laughs> little, a little Chihuahua Terrier mix. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, they both love to to be around other dogs. Love to be around people, and you no, know, not scared to to get them play at all. You know, they they love being out out in the yard and being able to just meet new people and do new things. And yeah. so just being able to bring you know, all those Cleveland fans here and bring their, their animals and have them enjoy a plate, it, that's, you know, I want to keep on you know, increasing the size that I'm making that bigger because you know, dogs love dogs. They do. Um, and those fans love you. I just have to ask you this, okay? It's late in the ball game the other day and all of a sudden in that stadium, 65,000 people getting ready to celebrate that win. And there's that chant, Miles Garrett. What was that like? Well, I've never had it in my life, so that was a different experience than I've ever had. Now, I felt the love like, like never before in this city, and you know, it's, it's more than reciprocated. Now, I want to keep, continue to give back to this community, give back on the field and off the field. And man, I just want to you know, keep on making you know, this city proud. One more football question, okay? Are you excited about what? The start of the season has shown, and what it holds the rest of the way. I am. I mean, we showed that we have 
know, a good amount of potential on offense and defense. And uh, we've been putting it together. We've been really taking you know, large steps forward on, on all phases. And uh, once we just you know, put it all together, you know, I think we can, it can be very special. But today's a different day, and congratulations on this. And congratulations to Cleveland for having the opportunity to see this beautiful piece of art. Good work. Yes, sir. Thank you.